So what is artificial intelligence? So artificial intelligence really is all about how we can build computers and robots that can carry out the kinds of tasks that humans do that we, that we label as intelligent. And you can distinguish between specialized AI technology and general purpose AI, which is the kind of thing we see in science fiction films, which we don't know how to do yet, versus the specialist AI, which is the bits of technology that are already a, a around at the moment, driving cars, answering questions on our phones, and so on. So special versus general. General is the kind of thing that might be achieved in the future. Now, we can also distinguish between embodied and disembodied artificial intelligence. So the, the idea here is that uh, an embodied artificial intelligence, uh, AI here, is something that is connected to the same world as us, or it inhabits the same world that we inhabit. And so it has this sort of sensory motor loop with which it interacts with the same world of physical objects that we interact with. And it's embodied in that sense. So really what we're talking about here is a robot. So a robot is an embodied artificial intelligence. But that's only one kind of AI. And the other kind of AI that we could build, or that we do build, is a disembodied artificial intelligence. So here we have our AI. And the input to the AI may be just, for example, uh, speech or sound from a microphone. And the output from the from the AI can just be uh, a vocal output, or maybe to, uh, to our computer screen. Um, and also the input to disembodied artificial intelligence can be from the, world, from the world wide web, from the internet. And so this kind of AI doesn't interact with the same physical world of objects that, that we do, but nevertheless it can learn a great deal from the things people say and from what it finds on, uh, on the web. Uh, to acquire intelligence and to get better at, uh, for example, answering questions that way.